Get ready to experience the rush of adrenaline as we take you on a wild ride through the nail-biting finish of the United Rentals 500 at Phoenix Raceway. During Sunday's race, we witnessed one of the most thrilling finishes in recent history. William Byron emerged victorious at the United Rentals 500 by stealing the win from Kyle Larson in an epic overtime battle. The race was intense from start to finish with drivers pushing themselves and their cars to the limit. The competition was fierce, but in the end it was Byron who took home the checkered flag and claimed his well-deserved victory. But the excitement doesn't end there. We'll take you through all the events of what happened, from the heart-pounding moments on the track to the post-race celebrations. You won't want to miss a single moment of this incredible race. So buckle up and get ready to experience the thrill of NASCAR like never before. Stick around to find out everything you need to know about all of what happened. And while you're at it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel with the notification bell on. Saturday saw Kyle Larson getting the pole for the race. He was ready for the event, even though he was a little bit shocked and worried, coming into the weekend because Hendrick wasn't part of the January test at Phoenix, as Bob Packrass tweeted prior to the start of the Phoenix event. Uh... I don't, I can't speak for like Cliff and everybody, but um, me personally, yes, I was concerned because um, I had heard that the lower downforce hurt the Chevys more aerodynamically than the other manufacturers. Um, Ross, from what everybody told me, was terrible <laughs> once they went to this low downforce stuff. Yes, I was concerned. I didn't expect to be you know, top of the charts. As the green flag waved at Phoenix Raceway, Kyle took the lead and charged ahead, setting the pace for the rest of the pack to follow. William Byron was behind him trying to steal that lead from him within the first two laps. He actually overtook him and seized the lead position, staying up front the whole time in stage one. He marked an impressive fourth consecutive stage win. His performance was nothing short of exceptional and proves that he is currently on an unstoppable winning streak. Meanwhile, as Jeff Gluck said on Twitter, Kyle Larson after stage one ends. I feel like I'm pretty good. It's just William is really good. As the green flag flew back into action at Phoenix, Larson and Byron engaged in an intense battle on the track. Larson gained the upper hand by strategically placing Byron on pit road, regaining his lead position and leaving number 24 Chevrolet Camaro behind him. The race was far from over and it was clear that these two drivers were in it to win it. As we approached lap 50 of stage 2, Byron was hot on Larson's tail, ready to pounce at any moment. Meanwhile, Denny Hamlin made his way to pit road, setting off a chain reaction as other lead lap drivers followed suit for refueling and tire changes. However, things took a turn for the worse for Kyle Busch and Michael McDowell, who were hit with penalties after speeding into pit road. This messed up would cause them to lose valuable ground and be forced to play catch up to regain their positions in the field. Did I say things took a turn for the worse? Eric Almarola's car veered into the wall on turn 4, causing his tire to explode and part of his wheel to break off. As a result, lap 138 marked the first caution of the day. As officials rushed to clear the debris from the track and ensure the safety of the other drivers, Busher made his presence known on the track by nudging Suarez's car with his bumper while attempting to pass the number 99. The move was risky and could have had disastrous consequences, but Suarez managed to maintain control and recover from the close call. Meanwhile, Briscoe continued to gain momentum as the race progressed, rising from his 24th starting position to an impressive 10th place with just 6 laps remaining in the stage. With a previous win at Phoenix under his belt, Briscoe had the experience and skill to make things interesting in the final stage of the race. Kyle Larson took the stage 2, while Byron's performance took a sharp decline as he fell behind him. Both drivers were at 3rd and 4th positions respectively at the race restart. Opting to forego the pit stops, Eric Jones was the lone driver to stay out on the track hoping for a timely caution flag. However, Larson quickly closed in on Jones, whose fuel was burning out rapidly leaving him vulnerable to being overtaken by the pace setter. Despite Larson and Harvick holding a comfortable lead over the rest of the pack, Jones remained within striking distance. The possibility of a caution flag could shake things up and make the race much more exciting. Out of nowhere, the 47-year-old made a stunning move to take the lead. Slipping past the number 5 car, which is 44 laps remaining in the race, Harvick maintained a firm grip on the lead leaving Larson behind as he passed Wallace, who was in 21st place and a lap down. With just 21 laps to go, the race with, from Phoenix was heating up. 
The race took a dramatic turn as a caution flag was waved when Harrison Burton's tire popped, sending debris flying into the air. This was particularly bad news for Harvick, who had been leading the race with only 10 laps to go. Harvick, along with Byron, Larson, and Bell, headed to pit road, and it was Kyle who emerged as the first to leave. Number four Ford Mustang driver found himself some way back and was bound to lose ground on the restart. To make matters worse, Byron's team played a smart move by pitting for two tires, tricking Harvick and forcing the number four team back. With just four laps remaining, it looked like a tough ask for Harvick to make a comeback. However, the race was not over yet, as A.J. Almendinger and Ty Gibbs crashed into the wall, leading to the race going into overtime. In the extra laps, Harvick had a chance to come back, but Denny Hamlin blocked his efforts, leaving him stuck on the outside looking in. In the end, it was Byron who once again emerged victorious, taking the checkered flag in overtime. William Byron proved his ability to seize opportunities and take advantage of circumstances. With the late caution flag leading to another overtime finish, the number 24 Chevrolet driver positioned himself perfectly, eventually clinching the victory at Phoenix Raceway. In a thrilling four-car battle, Tyler Reddick's push helped Byron surge ahead and claim his second consecutive win. The 25-year-old driver said after the race, thanks to everybody back at Hendrick Motorsports, putting together great cars, doing a great job, this is a big credit to them. Certainly, his teammate Kyle Larson was not happy about this result at all, though. Larson emerged as a strong contender from the start, having secured the pole position. He held on to the lead for a race record 201 laps, but his luck ran out as the white flag approached. Despite benefiting from two restarts before the final sh overtime showdown, Larson couldn't maintain his lead. Despite attempting to slow down Byron by pushing him towards the outside marbles, his efforts proved to be in vain as Byron charged forward to clinch the victory. He was disappointed with the final restart as he had a strong car for the weekend. He said, We got lucky with the one caution, and the team made a great call to take two tires and get us out in the lead. The restarts are just tough. I felt like I ran William up pretty high, and I expected him to lose some grip, but he did a really good job of holding it to my outside and clearing me down the back. He then followed with a simple, I am mad. Despite missing out on the win, Larson has established himself as a top contender in the NASCAR Cup Series and will no doubt be back in the hunt for a victory in the weeks to come. That said, what an exciting race it was at Phoenix Raceway. With the green flag to the checkered flag, we saw intense battles, thrilling moments, and unexpected turns. What do you think about all this? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more NASCAR Nation updates. Sponsored by Credit One Bank and make a mark on where you start the finish line. the way back through the tri-oval.